So when a bear makes a sound or a gesture, what do they mean to communicate? We cannot speak bear, but we can have a very good idea what a bear wants to say when it speaks. We can watch how a bear communicates with other bears, and then recognize the similarities when a bear tries to communicate with a person. What we have learned is that when bears communicate with people in this manner, an attack on the person has not happened. Too often, bears are killed by people for communicating with people the best way they know how. The bears are killed because their behavior during communicating is misunderstood as being aggressive and dangerous. The communicating bear is not aggressive. It is uneasy and nervous. Bears communicate by making different vocalizations and physical posturing, such as stomping the ground with their feet or maybe rushing towards the person or animal they want to move back that is too close and making them nervous. They clack their teeth loudly, they snort, they whine, all indications that the bear is nervous and that the person is too close and they're uncomfortable. This is not an indication that the bears are going to attack. Exactly the opposite is true. It's an indication that the bear is nervous and you're too close. The mother bear we first see in this video has cubs. The cubs have scurried off into the bush and climbed a tree. She remained for a while. Then she heard scratching on a tree and I heard it at the same time. So as she goes into the bush I get ready with my camera and I follow her to record what happens. Listen carefully, listen to the grunts, the moans, the clacking of the teeth. We hear the other bear that's in the tree that we haven't seen in the video yet snorting and huffing away. This mother bear is clucking, looking up the top of each tree looking for her cubs, sniffing the ground to see if she can find a scent for her cubs. And then she stomps the ground once and snorts. That I think was for me, the photographer who is too close.
This is the other bear. She's up in the tree. And she's also a mother. I see two cubs. So she should be upset. She's been asking me to leave quite clearly, but also quite gently. The old bear, the mother to the bear in the tree, the grandmother to the cubs we just saw, sits down and waits for me to leave. I don't like to do this, I don't like to stress them out, but I hope these two bears have donated some of their vocabulary to help people learn to be wise about bears and understand them better. Do not intentionally approach a bear. If you surprise a bear, listen and watch as it asks you to leave the area. Give it more space. Retreat slowly, speaking to the bear in a calm tone. Do not run. If the bear is around your campsite, home or cottage, and the bear is on your property, wave your arm, stand your ground, and in a loud, firm voice say, Go away, bear. Repeat and make as much noise as possible. The bear will retreat, even a mother with cubs. Be safe. 